Alrighty, so this video is going to cover how to properly insert both verbal orders and communication notes into the HCNet system. So just a little bit of an overview in regards to verbal orders and communication notes. Both are going to be sent out to the entire team, which includes any other therapist, the nurse, and also the home health agency as a whole. So verbal orders are going to be anything that also need to be sent to the doctor for signature. Um, that would include if you're ordering an assistive de device for the patient or maybe a shower chair for the patient. Also, if you want to change the frequency, maybe say you're seeing the patient two times a week and you want to uh, decrease that to one time a week or maybe up it to three times a week, that's going to need to be sent to the doctor. As well as uh, if you're going to order another discipline, say you're a physical therapist and the patient isn't currently receiving occupational therapy, but you believe that they could... Uh, benefit from occupational therapy, both to increase their independence and safety within the home. Those are kind of the big three things that you would be writing a verbal order for. Uh, and then a communication note is just going to be communication between you and the rest of the members on the team. Say the patient's phone number changed and you just wanted to let the rest of the team know, that's where you would put a communication note in. Uh, but that's something that doesn't necessarily have to be signed off on by the doctor. So to put those in, it's pretty easy. What we're going to go ahead and do is just go up from our home screen here. We're going to go click on visits. And then on the drop down menu, we'll click on the visits there. And then let's say that our patient's last name is Smith. So we'll type that in and say our uh, patient is John Smith. So all you're going to do to enter a verbal order is just under the patient profile here, you'll go ahead and click on verbal orders and then add new verbal order. So you're going to want to make sure that your name is here. So since this is a test patient, that's what's coming up. And then also the doctor's name. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have the proper date as well. So like I said, maybe you, you're going to want to say patient will benefit from shower chair to increase independence and safety within the home. So that's going to be your communication and then you can either you know kind of copy and paste that down here into the order as well and maybe in front of it you could put please send to MD for signature. So you're going to make sure like I said that you have your name here underneath clinician, the doctor's name is there, and then you have the proper date with the proper communication and order. And then all you do is click add order slash update order. And then once again, as you can see on this order down here, this one has already been emailed to the team. So all you're going to have to click is email to office and team. And then that's going to sent, get sent over to the uh, rest of the team and also get sent to the doc for signature. Now we'll go ahead and go back. And we're back underneath John Smith, who's our patient. So now say we want to enter a communication note. So that would just be uh, here. You'd click communications and then add communication. Once again, you'd want to make sure that your name was here along with the proper date. And then say we're uh, communicating this at 10 a.m. And we're just going to say patient's phone number has changed to has change to let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and then follow up action maybe just say fyi and then you're going to hit insert communication once again you can see here that this has not been emailed out out to the team so all you're going to have to do is click email communication to office and team and then that will get sent to the rest of the team. So that's how you properly insert both verbal orders and communication notes into HCNet.